key features of expert systems. So an expert system is a type of intelligence system designed to replicate the decision-making abilities of a human expert within a specific domain. So just as humans work in a variety of domains like education and medicine and finance and business. Well, now we're trying to make systems that can think like them, emulate their knowledge and make decisions. They provide consistent logical and justifiable advice to problems often where human expertise is limited, expensive or unavailable. So by actually doing this, because experts to pay an expert, a human expert costs money, but it's not just that as well. It's experts are often limited. But the second that we can make a system that is an expert, well, we can duplicate that as well as we can create an expert system by combining knowledge of a variety of experts. So we've got like a super expert in a system format, and it's this amalgamation of knowledge that can make really expert-like decisions, okay? But essentially the system is acting like a human expert. They are widely used in fields such as medicine, engineering, finance, and customer support, and they improve efficiency by offering reliable recommendations even in complex or uncertain scenarios. And that almost jumps back to when we talked about our structures of decision-making with decision support system, our unstructured decisions, our semi-structured decisions, and our structured decisions. Except here now, it's almost like this is a person we're talking to and they're guiding us through it um, with their specific features. And that's what we're gonna be talking about now in our next slide, the key features of expert systems, kind of what are the foundations that make up these systems so they can not only act as an expert, but support us as human beings with our tasks. And the first category is out of a knowledge base, which I already alluded to before that we can have this amalgamation of knowledge as our source for our expert system. This knowledge base is the core component of an expert system containing all the factual and procedural knowledge the system uses to make decisions. So it's all the facts it needs to know, all the information is there, but then also the rules and algorithms it needs to follow to make a decision based on the data that has been given by a user and to give an accurate outcome. This includes rules, facts and relationships derived from human experts. So they are all stored in the system, okay? And we know this already with artificial intelligence systems and how they act right now in our modern era, okay? They are an accumulation of knowledge and then they are responding to our inputs and they have the procedures in there to respond correctly. The knowledge is often structured as if-then rules. So if a certain variable is true or false, it follows a different pathway to a different outcome. Okay, and this allows the system to draw on logical conclusions from the known data, all right, as well as its built-in algorithms. The quality of knowledge base will directly affect the system's accuracy and usefulness. So the more knowledge it has, and the key word there being the quality the knowledge is in the system, so who it's been derived from and what its sources are, well, that will impact how accurate the system outputs are. So we want high quality knowledge bases derived from human experts, um, whether it be uh, through primary sources or through reliable secondary sources, and we build this strong knowledge base acting as our factual source for decisions to be made in the expert system. Now, the next category of an expert system is the inference engine. Okay, so this component, I should say, okay, is the processing unit that applies the logical reasoning techniques to the knowledge base to reach conclusions. So it processes, okay, this is what I've got to do. Let me refer to my knowledge base and then it gives a conclusion for the system. So it evaluates the input and determines which rules apply from the knowledge base, guiding the system toward an appropriate solution. So it's got to refer to the knowledge base, make some decisions, and then give an output. All right, now we can do this in a variety of ways. The first one is out of forward chaining, whereas the system starts with the known facts and applies rules to infer new information until a conclusion is reached. So looks at its facts first, that might be stored in the knowledge base, processes these facts, gives a conclusion. But then we also have backward changing, where the system starts with information and then works backwards using its rules and then determines whether the known facts support the information. So it's more of a verification style of approach where this could be the answer, let me check my knowledge base, do these correlate 
yes they do or no they don't and then we'll make a conclusion from there so in one step we're in the forward chain we're kind of looking at the knowledge base first whereas in the backward chain we're kind of here's the information provided let's check it against ourselves to see if that's a reliable solution and obviously these would be used in different contexts but essentially the inference engine okay is doing the processing based on its processing techniques, its own logical reasoning techniques, and referring to the knowledge base in order to give an appropriate output. The final component of an expert system that we should talk about is how the users are going to interact with it. And that would usually be through a user interface. So the UI enables users to interact with an expert system, entering data and receiving feedback. Now, if you've interacted with the AI before, it's almost like simple is better. When we interact with artificial intelligence, okay, and through these platforms, it's almost like we're having a conversation with a friend through a, a chat application where we're talking and responding to each other and refining what we need to know. A good UI ensures the system is accessible and easy to use. So as we know from the interfaces we've experienced with, they are very basic and almost familiar based on messaging type software, chat software. Okay, and so it's very easy to guide users through asking the system questions, displaying outcomes from the expert system and offering reasoning behind its decisions where the system can provide sources that it's using to make its decision from or go into further detail based on decisions being given. And all a user needs to do is talk using human language, okay, or we should say natural language techniques. Okay, you don't need to speak to the actual platform in code or type in any specific commands. You're talking in natural language. The way you talk to every day to a human being is how you can talk to these systems, which is amazing because it makes them extremely intuitive and user-friendly and accessible to almost anyone. It even can be that the system is not even text-based, that you need to type in your commands. It could be audio-based and you can actually speak to the system and the system can speak back to you as well, almost like you're talking with a human too. So these systems are advancing at extremely rapid uh, rate. And the key aspect of that is user interface, okay? We kind of don't see the knowledge base or inference engine and the complexity happening behind the scenes because it's all masked by the UI. For what we're doing, it just seems like we're talking to a system, whether through our keyboard or with our voice, and the UI is transforming that into this simplistic, easy to understand output. All right, so a good UI helps ensure a system's functionality is transparent so we can we can look deeper into its processing capabilities but also trusted by users too when it does provide things like oh here are our sources of information that we extracted okay to give you this specific output there guiding through the decision making process when to act as an expert there so i hope this uh, video has given an understanding of these three key features of an expert system essentially firstly the knowledge base acting as the data source okay and it's an amalgamation of a variety of data sources okay to emulate this expert knowledge base all right and is the foundation the system uses okay for its rules its facts and developing relationships that can be referred to when decisions are being made then our inference engine which takes in the data inputted by the user, applies its logical reasoning techniques to process this data, refers to the knowledge base, and then gives a potential outcome that should uh, it would say to do based on its findings and its processing capabilities. And then finally, the UI, okay, allowing the users to interact with the system in a simplistic way, making the system accessible to many people and providing ways for users to interact in a variety of ways, through text, through audio, through whatever best suits their scenario. UI is the front end that should be as simple as possible to maximize user engagement. So I hope you understand these features of expert systems and essentially what expert systems do. They emulate experts, all right, and allow us to do things where getting an expert might be tough or combine experts together to make these super type of expert systems there. Obviously enriching our lives across multiple fields and areas, okay, to best support human beings.